We are going to do the fourth case of today. Uh, he is a male patient, Julia, one year, 10 month old, weighing 11 kg. He was diagnosed as a case of 8 millimeter ASD secundum uh, due to frequent respiratory tract infections and recurrent fever. And while examining the patient, uh, after having systolic murmur, ASD uh, was primitively diagnosed. And after doing investigations like chest x ray, which revealed cardiomegaly and plethoric lung field, and ECT showed RVH, right ventricular hypertrophy, and right bundle branch block, RBVB. And after that, uh, it was confirmed by echocardiography, and it was revealed that there was a large ASG secundum, 8 millimeter, mild PAs as well, uh, and also mild tear dilated RA and RV, and the five ventricular functions are very good. And today, uh, he is going to be operated for ASG device closure by Big Regent and Nunar Fatima. You know the live workshop is going on on minimalistic approach of transcatheter interventions in congenital and structural heart disease. Uh, Brigadier General Professor Nurna Fatima, she is doing all the procedures and um, supervising everything. <laughs> Just to mention in our you have seen my already crossed, and as I had mentioned, we planned everything from beforehand. So this is a 10 millimeter HD, which is gradually increasing in size. You have seen the age; uh, age is uh, 17 months, I think. And in his subsequent echo, HD is getting larger. So to close this, to take the chance of closing it with the device. So you have seen I have applied some tweaks here. Because we are almost closing the wire and wire was in the left atrial appendix. So if you enter into the left atrial appendage of the delivery system, there is tons of complication. And this left atrial appendage is the common site for, uh, you know, rupture and then complication. So you have to be careful from beforehand and to take appropriate measures to avoid complication. So we have applied some things and we are now in, inside the left atrium with the delivery system and now we have selected in the minimalistic approach I have mentioned that we select and we plan our procedure from beforehand. So we have already selected a 12 millimeter size ASD device for this child and again I am saying that Minimum in the size, better is for the patient. So we can give as this interferes septum to the lies is 32. So in this child, as interferes septum is 32, we can go up to 16. But we will not give him a 16 size. It is better to give as less as possible because you know there are conduction system and uh, there is chance of pressure effect on the conduction system and there is chance of complete hard block. So we always avoid that, giving pressure effect on the conduction system. So now we are checking whether the delivery system is in proper position with good flow, good free flow of blood. We are not getting free flow, so we will try to adjust the position. Let's see what I say. So this is now out. So see this is now out of the left atrium. I will not take any chance of any air embolism. So I have taken it out if there is no free flow. And now I go again. So it is better to do from the beginning rather than to do any complication. So I will take some time again to go to the left atrium with the help of again from the beginning. The air embolism is the most hazardous, hazardous part of the ASD device closure procedure. So, you must be careful and you must avoid air embolism at any cost. So, this is again inside the pulmonary vein. I will try, you take a cross. So, you have crossed already. And now we will check whether there is free flow. Again, we will check whether there is free flow of blood. 
inside the delivery system. This time there is very beautiful free flow. Can you concentrate on this? So you are seeing here that there is free flow of blood coming out through this cycle and we are happy that there is no air inside. So we are connecting the device with the delivery system now. This is a 12 size which was pre-planned. So we have planned the smallest size as smallest as possible. It is better if it slip out. We can again change it to a larger size. But try to give a smaller size as small as possible because this is the atrial septum through which sinoatrial node is communicating with the atrial ventricular node and we must be careful about the conduction system. So the maneuver you have seen just before was that I was using a JR catheter and the telemoyer and through that I was able to cross the uh, delivery system. But this is little bit of the difficult tricks and once you are uh, experienced you will be able to do that, but this is not for the beginner or not for the one who are doing this procedure very infrequently. Now I have immersed the delivery system under the water and I will do everything under water. So now uh, I am trying to de-air the delivery system and this cycle. We are flushing now and then now we will pull back. So you will see now that we are pulling back and look at the syringe. Look at the ceiling, you will see now that blood is coming. So this is the thing which we love to see and there is no air. At the same time we have to keep our eye on the monitor to see whether there is any air embolism. If there is any air embolism, in that case you will see change in the ST segment and then there will be ready. If you do not take measures there will be ready. Now the device is fixed against the atrial septum. So now I will uncover the right atrial disc. You will see I am uncovering it and it is going up. And now I am taking the things out of the water and who oh, you will do the Minnesota maneuver. You are seeing now we are doing the Minnesota maneuver. And this device is tightly fixed. So now we have some other test to see whether it is okay or not. So we will check in the angiographic long axis view. So this is a profile view and you can see here also that this is very nice. And now we are going to the TIPO. Everything is fine here, transparency window is very good. We are seeing everything properly. Our ECG is good, patient saturation is 100% at the moment, heart rate is 115 per minute. All vital parameters are normal, ECG normal, and we are happy with the top test, and we are happy with the hip also. So finally, I will do the echo by myself, and Alhamdulillah, the vision is good. So you are seeing now the device is in position. So this is the final echo view. You are seeing very nice alignment of the device. And we are done with this case. Echo short inferior rim was 12 millimeter. Yeah. I think it's good enough. Yes. And superior rim was 7.5. So yeah. though this, this is a small child. Echo showed increment of size in every follow up. Yes, madam. So we are trying to close it. Otherwise, in next follow up, it will be 2 millimeter more. And then in next two more like this. So this is the way is the natural history of the ASD. Mm -hmm. And in adult, if this child become adult. Yes. The ASD will be like 25, 30, 35. Exactly. So why should we allow the ASD to increase? That is our uh, our logic. Yes, madam. Thank you. Yeah, well done, madam. I want to introduce you with my team member who are working here. So first of all is uh, Shah Alon. Jani Alon. He is the radiographer and he is very, very uh, wise person who helped us in our decision making sometimes. We are in dilemma, we, we don't know what, what decision will be good for the patient. In that case, I have a voting system. So first of all, I ask Jane Alon. So he always helps us with good decision. And now is Anwar. He is the most important team member because he knows 
how to organize a case and then uh, to help us with all the support like hardware and everything. Because if you don't have all the accessories with you, you will not be able to complete a case. And now is uh, Dr. Colonel Nazmul. He is my student and they are very dedicated. Uh, whatever I, I ask them to do, they never ask me any question. They, they just go and do that. So they are very obedient students and they are very, uh, actually, I think they were a good student in their academic career and they are becoming a very good pediatric cardiologist for, for the future. And now is Lieutenant Colonel Ashwak, he is another student and he is also very sincere, dedicated and they always work with me and whenever I ask them to do anything, he is also like Nazmul and both of them are very hardworking, dedicated and they will be very good specialists in pediatric cardiology in future. Currently they are already their pediatric cardiology but still they are learning because learning has no end. So they are now doing also the course in pediatric cardiology FCPS. But long time ago they were trained from India for long one year in pediatric cardiology. It was in 2000? It was in 2011. So 10 years ago they were trained. And now is the Shah Alam. Shah Alam is one of the another important members. He knows how to take care of vital signs, how to maintain the vitals of the patient. And he is a very important member because if your patient is not stable during the procedure, after the procedure, then he will have no outcome. So he is the one who takes care of this thing with us. And these are the uh, core members, but there are many other members. Today we have our sister here. Huh? Joy is here with us. He is assisting us in our cases. She is assisting and there are other uh, nurses also. So we have ended up with our fourth case and the first case of AG device closure. You have seen that how critical it was. Every second is so precious and uh, every team members, uh, every team member were so keen and so attentive to all of the, all the procedures, all the part of the procedures. And uh, if uh, we need a good success, a great success, uh, you need to have a good collaboration as well. The second case is going on. Uh, she is Fatima and she is only 1.3 years old, 11 kg. And she was diagnosed as a case of PDA, uh, having complete complaints of recurring respiratory infections. You are saying that there is uh, total occlusion of clot, which is known as stop clot. So there is stop clot now. And in the fluid cooking, we are seeing that there is waste formation. So this is the size which we want. And then outside the body, we will measure the balloon size and we will select the device. This was the balloon inside the uh, ASD. Now we have uh, filled the balloon again with the plant, uh, with the dye. And which was one is to the illusion. And now we are measuring this balloon, matching it with the size and plate. So this is the 14, which seems to be similar to that of the appearance in the screen. And uh, according to the echo, there was stop flow, so this is just the stop flow. So, this is 14 size. This patient's IS is 42, interatrial septum. And as the rims are a little bit floppy, uh, uh, we are going to uh, give a 16 millimeter here. This is the size of the delivery system. So we were actually uh, doing the for some time to see, uh, I was seeing that there was too much depth from the pumper side. So I just checked whether it is any arterial puncture or not. So in every place you have to be careful. If you have anything in mind, you have to check that and then in proceed.
So we did the analysis, blood gas analysis. Saturation is 70 percent. So it is enough. So we are in the LA, LA room open. LA disc is now in position. And now we are against the atrial septum. You are seeing that the atrial septum is uh, pulled down with the device. Now I am releasing the right atrial part. So this is the right atrial part. And now we have finished with the awkward. As this was a class minus case, large ASD in a small child, which we will check several times before we releasing the device. So we see the harmony next to that. This is fine. You can see in the echo screen uh, that the lower end of the device it is in nice position and uh, the interior ring and outer ring these are inside the device. Uh, this child's HD is getting larger every day in subsequent echo so we have decided to close and as this is a very large HD we said we will try if it is possible. If not possible then we will refer to surgeon. Uh, now so far so long we are fine with the device. We did the tap test or Minnesota maneuver. We find that the device is properly fixed up in the position. And uh, other things are also, though not excellent, but not bad. Uh, That's size, why I am. Which size device can be? This is a 16 size. 16 size, I think it's, for you, I think it's the <laughs> very minimum size. Now very yes, small, but this is too large for a small child. Yes, madam. This is large for a small child. A small child, yeah. yeah. Okay, now, yeah, the fluoro first and then go to echo. So we are seeing in the fluoro that device is in good position. Can you come in the front view, please? So we are seeing fluoroscopically if it is okay. So fluoroscopically it is fine. And echocardiographically we are now seeing whether it is good or not. As I have mentioned earlier, we have used a large size device. It would be better if it could, could give 14, but as it is a very large BS, ASD with small rings, we have given a lot, one size large. So, dear viewers, uh, we have done eight cases uh, till now. Uh, some were ASD device closure and some were PDA device closure. And now we will we are going to observe another interesting case. Uh, the patient is Tanvir, six years old, weighing 16 kg. He was diagnosed as a case of small perimembranous VSD, trivial TR, good biventricular function. And he actually complained with um, head sweating uh, easily. And uh, after examining him uh, with doing the, all the investigations like chest x-ray and ECG, uh, and especially the echocardiography, the small perimembranous VSD was uh, found there. Uh, it's an interesting thing that actually there is no such complaint, uh, much complaint other than the head sweating and x-ray and ECG findings were absolutely normal. So in these cases, if you are not clinically sharp, if you don't think that there might be a VSD, you will not think of that. So uh, actually, sometimes we find some cases with recurrent respiratory tract infections, and we treat them with uh, as a case of pneumonia and now some viral respiratory tract infections. So we need to keep in our mind that it might um, discover, uh, it might be discovered as a new case of uh, congenital heart disease. So we need to keep it in our mind. And VSD device closure is going to be done on Tanvir, six years old, weighing 16 kg. So dear viewers, our madam is there. Uh, she started to do the procedure. And please keep with us. Thank you. Now, the device from the coil. It will be okay.
So, the device now it has taken its position before it was little bit like upward. Uh, now, this is a very nice position and if you see the echo now, you will be very happy. Uh, just a minute, I, I want to show the floor also. So, this is the aerogram. There is no air and device is in nice position. There is no residual BSD. So, we have finished the procedure. Thank you. Thank you everyone again uh, to participate in the live workshop on minimalistic approach of transcatheteric interventions in congenital and structural heart diseases organized by Bangladesh Specialist Hospital and Congenital Heart Desk. And the uh, procedure is going on in the cath lab of Bangladesh Specialist Hospital and we can view directly from that cath lab the, all the procedures ins and outs of that. And uh, also our Honorable Madam, Pro Brigadier General Professor Noonar Fatima is supervising and directly uh, perform, performing all the procedures and also she is uh, delivering the running commentary so that uh, we can uh, learn, we can um, know what's going on with that cases, those cases. Okay, so dear viewers, thank you again for being with us. Please uh, keep watching what's going on next on. Thank you everyone. Thank you once again.